In this viral video, protesters marched through a Target and a Walmart in Arizona to denounce the mask mandates. Obviously, because that's so right. It's Andy here to break down more anti-maskers and why they feel that they are entitled to do a lot of things in public the way they do. I can't tell you why or how they think that way, but it just happens and we're gonna break down what exactly happened, so you gotta know. Recently, users documented a protest happening inside a Target in Phoenix, Arizona, where the people protested wearing a mask, of course. People waved signs that said, end the Arizona mask mandate, or mask equals 666, and even chanted things like, free your face. The same group of anti-maskers even went to a Walmart and protested the mask mandate. People online said things like, all lives matter except the sick, afflicted, immune uncompromised doctors and nurses. Or imagine how privileged you are when a mask is the most oppressed you've ever felt. On TikTok, people commented things like, not only is it selfish, but they're going out of their way to risk other people's safety. This reeks of apathy. Now, walking around maskless anywhere is obviously not a good idea right now. I definitely can say that walking around maskless in Target is probably the unsafest you could be in Arizona, or the most unsafe. Whatever way you want to phrase it, it's just not a good look. Arizona reported more than 7,600 COVID cases and 142 deaths on uh, a Friday alone. Maricopa County, which is home to Phoenix and the anti-maskers in this clip, instituted a mask mandate back in June. However, there's still people who aren't adhering to the policy. Now, Representative Andy Briggs of Arizona tweeted data that shows that the mask mandate failed to slow the spread of COVID-19, stating that there have been almost six times the number of cases, over five times the number of hospitalizations, and almost 4.5 times the number of deaths, as compared to the period before the mask mandate. Now, you're probably wondering, why would we tell you those things that are said online about this data, it's because we're here to really debunk that and why that's a misleading data statistic. Yeah, before the mask mandate was issued, there were fewer deaths, cases, and hospitalizations because of the stay-at-home orders that shut down many non-essential, quote-unquote, businesses and activities. However, the statewide lockdown was lifted after May 15th. Restrictions on businesses were eased, so that meant more people could go to salons, restaurants, or gyms, for example, and potentially spread COVID-19. But it all comes down to whether businesses and owners and their patrons follow COVID-19 safety protocols. And of course, COVID can spread due to social gatherings, both large and small. So it's not entirely the fault of the business trying to survive financially. Now, I also really want to point out one thing, that the government's really not helping these businesses or any business who has really been affected by COVID-19. Obviously, there are PPP loans, but those who are doing outdoor dining or just recently had their outdoor dining taken away, are really at risk and they really don't have a means to survive financially. So I understand why these businesses are frustrated in the first place, why their essential or non-essential businesses shut down because they're not being given relief. So of course, everyone's gonna retaliate in some manner because if they do follow COVID-19, you know, restrictions, guidelines, and more, long story boring, they'll shut down. They'll have to cease operation. So government, help us out, but let's continue. Now, to further this, we've seen surges in COVID around the country in the summer and now during the winter season. Additionally, the data pulled for the timeline before the mask mandate is lower because it covered a three month span. The post mask mandate timeline covers a six month span. So in the end, the problem isn't because the mask mandate was issued. It's a problem about people not following the mask mandate that could slow the spread of COVID because they wouldn't spread respiratory droplets from coughing, sneezing, or chanting ridiculous statements like the people in these clips. Now again, this is something you need to follow if you are really invested in slowing the spread of COVID-19. If you are someone who cannot wear a mask, you have to follow the CDC guidelines from the Center for Disease Control. Anything that is ADA or follows the American Disability Act refers to the CDC for businesses to structure and adhere to influence and outbreak best. So businesses are not gonna serve you if you do not have a mask. If you have any so-called very slim medical issues, you have to find a mask or a cloth protective that fits your face or any area that may exert a lot of these liquids or moisture and more. Also, if you're someone who cannot physically wear a mask for some unknown reason, the businesses are going to accommodate you curbside pickup for any contact delivery, but you have to work with the business. They're not going to try and bend over backwards. So end of the day, they're providing a service, but you have to work with them and they have to work with you in some capacity. So that all being said, there's a lot going on right now, but if you keep going out in the public with all these massless issues, rants, and more, 
you're not gonna get anything done. But let us know what you feel on uh, our socials and we'll come back with more social news daily. Head to witchtraining.com, follow me anywhere you want to. See you soon.